Hello, I'm Hal Ottaway with the Wichita Postcard Club, and it's time once again for another Postcard of the Week. This week, I want to introduce Dennis McBurney from Pennsylvania. He's going to be our speaker for the November 6th Wichita Postcard Club meeting. That's a Saturday afternoon, and we invite you to come at 1.45 p.m. Central Time on that uh, November 6th day. And uh, Dennis has uh, recently uh, joined forces with Morgan Williams, uh, actually over a period of years. But what they have put together is the fruition of all of this uh, uh, work together to create an illustrated checklist of the Connard postcards. Mr. Connard, the photographer from uh, Garden City, Kansas. But Dennis, let's uh, look at the cover of this book and you go ahead and kind of show it and, and swell with pride at what you're seeing. <laughs> All right. The uh, Frank D. Connard or Pops Connard was a town photographer in Garden City area. He and his wife moved there in the mid 1900s or 1910s and started producing postcards right away. Their claim to fame came almost 20 years later in the mid 30s when dust storms took over in the Midwest. Uh, he produced a series of, of different dust storm postcards, uh, one of which I think uh, you'll see in this presentation uh, where it buried a, a tractor. But uh, he also had some of the storms themselves showing the clouds just overtaking the town. Uh, and about a year after that, they, you know, dust storms weren't bad enough for Western Kansas. Then they also had the invasion of the grasshoppers and just killed so many of the crops uh, between the grasshoppers and the jackrabbits. Um, the ranchers were having a rough time, but uh, rather than bemoan their fate, uh, Pops Connard created some postcards that uh, basically got him and his family and several of their employers through the depression. I've always admired that part. Uh, the checklist, as you mentioned, uh, Morgan Williams and I actually started on this in 2005 timeframe. Uh, we both had our, our lives uh, changed in different ways. He uh, took some time in the Ukraine. I took some time uh, looking for jobs and ended up in Pennsylvania. And uh, then we've got back together COVID-19 uh, COVID became a, an issue, and so I had some time to work on it again. And then uh, this last year, I had another break in my contracts, and so we finished it up finally. It only took us 16 years. <laughs> but uh, on the cover, you'll see the, the grasshopper being interviewed by one of the, the local radio uh, announcers and uh, Connard was an entrepreneur before we actually applied that name. He was kind of the jack of all trades. He had the photography studio. He and a partner um, created radios, uh, built some and sold them also out of the studio. He had, he, uh, had what they called an illegal uh, radio license for a while. And then he got a legitimate one and uh, ran that for many, many years. So. He's an interesting guy, and uh, as much as I struggled uh, between Pat uh, Clemens and Morgan Williams and myself and a whole lot of research on all three of our parts, we put a four-page uh, biography of, of Frank and, and his wife in there, and uh, it, it makes it a little more interesting. It's not just lists of check of uh, postcards and illustrations, but... Uh, we tell you a little bit about the man and, and some of his works. So oh, I agree. It's just uh, terrific, uh, Dennis. And uh, it's a nice uh, uh, bound uh, booklet or, yes, a booklet. Mm -hmm. And also three hole punched. It comes two different ways. Coming up this Saturday, uh, November 6 at 145 Central Time. Thank you. And uh, We'll look forward to seeing you on Saturday, Dennis. Bye-bye. Thank you.